So this is the current state of my room. So I haven't cleaned it since I started preparing for the Quebec City Comic Con. So yeah, it's quite a bit of a mess. Stuff on the floor, chaos here, here. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. But this is the bows that I've made so far. I'll show you guys in detail later on when I'm done. Yesterday we went out, I found these beautiful bows that are Christmas bows. But I think I can make some really nice bows with them. I bought this one too because I really like the colors. It's really cute. This beautiful red, this navy blue, dark navy blue, white. The main reason we were going to get black ribbon but yeah i ended up getting all this ribbon for some of them the underside is gold which is my favorite and they were just so pretty so i'm hoping to make some really nice bows with these So it has been a couple of days and I finally finished the bows. In total, I made 17 bows. I wasn't expecting to make that many, but that's just what happened. So let me show you the new ones that I've made. Here's the first one. I am using a different type of lace for this one. The lace that I usually use is stiffer and stronger, but this one is really light. And these beads here, I sewed it on there by hand. And there is a lavender and white version. And there is this white and peach version as well. My main goal when I was making these specific bows was to use up as much of the bows that I prepped when I first started making them. So I went through the majority of them. Almost all of them has been used up except maybe two. So I'm really, really happy about that because I want to make sure I put them to use. And it also helped with saving time because if I already prepped these bows a while back before the Quebec City Comic Con. Why not use them, right? Here is the other design. I ordered these 
flower beads. They're really cute and they're dingly. They hang off with this star chain. This star chain is the only chain I have left. I was using a different one for another set of bows, so that one's completely gone. So eventually I need to go back and buy them. But I wanted to use this green ribbon, and which I also ended up using all of, which I'm really happy about. Also has this dingling here in the middle. It's also this one with the black bow. Another one with the lavender bow. This one looks similar to the other ones that I showed you. So of course it doesn't have the daisies. It doesn't have the green bow. This one's actually one of a kind. So it has pearls right here, here, and here. It has a star chain and it also has the gold angel wings. I made this smaller black bow by mistake. And I decided like, you know what? I should use it. So I incorporated it into this design. It also has these gold studs on the side of the white lace. So yeah, I think it's really cute. This one's similar to the one with the green center, except I ran out of the other green ribbon before I got to this one. This one is also one of a kind. It looks very similar to the first ones that I had for $15. But of course it has the star chains and there's just these beads here with the star on it. This one is also one of a kind. I wanted to avoid using gold because I do prefer gold, but I know that not everyone likes gold. So I tried with silver and white. I think it looks really pretty. I sewed these pearls down at the bottom here on the toe. And then there's the pearl here. I sewed the pearls up here. And I also think this little ribbon and the little toe it makes is really cute. Hopefully it'll find a home. This is made from some Christmas ribbon that Walmart has started selling in the Christmas section. And it was so, so beautiful. I was like, I have to get it and try it, right? These are the last two of the dingly pearls that I added at the end. It has the last of the star chain that I had because I didn't want to waste it. There's a little bit left, so I was like, why don't I just sew it onto the end? And I think it looks perfect. Then we have the angel wings, the gold bow, the studs here. I think I should call this series like royalty because the other ones I'm about to show you makes me think of royalty. I think it's so, so beautiful. This one's the first one I made. I've had this right here for a while and I couldn't figure out how I should attach this on here so it stays because I didn't want to just hot glue it. If you hot glue on there, it's most likely not going to stay on there really well. So we went to the thrift store on Friday and we found this craft bag that had like different colored wires in it that I can use for like beads and stuff. There's also a fishing line in that bag and my husband has been telling me since i've been trying to figure out how to put these on the bows that that is what i should get that just so happens that it was fate that evening that i would find that ever since then i've been experimenting and i figured out how to get it on there you guys saw it previously i'm hoping that these do well because if they do well i'll buy more of these also in silver but maybe a different design as well here is another one from the like royalty collection as you can see, it has these dingly flowers like the other ones I just showed you. Also this piece right here. I don't know what to call this. I'll just call it like a piece of jewelry, but it's not really jewelry. <laughs> but it's very beautiful. It also has this green ribbon to match the leaves on these flowers. And it's so gorgeous. I love the texture on these Christmas ribbons. It's the same texture as the one I just showed you. Then I also have this version. It's not the same texture as the other two I just showed you, but it's still very beautiful. This is the only one of this color. So now that that is out of the way, <laughs> finally, the next thing that I'm going to work on that's going to go on till tomorrow is trying to finish up the step rally card and everything related to the step rally by Thursday. I'm going to put together a social media post. First, I have to finish the step rally card. Then next, I am going to create a social media post and tag everyone that's part of it. Also, I have to create the stickers that we're going to put on the card. And then after that, I have to remember to make business cards because I have no more business cards. And then I also have to remember to make a few more buttons. I always have to make more badge buttons. So yeah, hopefully we can get all that done. So I'm going to go ahead and try to finish up the stamp rally post stuff and I'll show you guys that tomorrow.
there's a lot more space. It's 11.06, we opened up at 10.30 and yeah, it was like a lot of work. <laughs> we had to take the entire time to set up. I already headed out all three of my sticker rally cards, which I'm really happy about. And we've had three prizes given out already. But yeah, let's see how today goes. Bonjour! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 All the bees. Oh, thank you. <laughs> They're so fluffy. Yes, hold my phone. If you like card or cash? A card. Okay, so you can go for the art. Yes. Oh, so which would you like a free present there, fan art though? I'm a good animal person. <laughs> it's now 119 and we're doing really really good we are at 189 dollars so it's really impressive <laughs> that means we pay back table and gas and materials for the bows so now everything's proper so hopefully everything continues to do well it's supposed to end at 6 30 so I'll update you guys when that time comes around Let's do a table update because there are a bunch of these sunflower foggos. I usually don't sell that many, but they're really popular today. None of this. No prints. No cups. 
So two of these mystery bags, which I was really, really happy about. Also sold one of these shaker charms, one of these coasters. Stationery here was very, very popular today. I was really surprised. I sold a couple of these magnetic bookmarks, some of these washi tapes, which I rarely ever sell. One of these letter papers, a couple of these as well. I sold this sticker pack here. I sold a bunch of these buttons and some dollar stuff. And the bows, they are doing okay, not as good as at the Comic Con, but you know, some of them sold. It's a week and a day now actually, and I need to record this to finish the vlog. And at this point, I'm not even done with the section where we're at the con, which, uh... <laughs> so let's talk about the overall experience. This is WeCon's third edition. I also did the second edition last year and I was super curious if they would have made improvements from the suggestions that we made from last year because there is definitely quite a few things that could have been improved. I have to say that I am really impressed with the changes that they made and I know that a lot of artists are really really happy too. The main thing was how they had tables laid out and how much space artists is needed behind the table. Unfortunately, I don't know how many participants there were this year, but it looks like it was a lot more. Usually conventions will post how many attendees there were, but then there was nothing on their social media. So yeah, vendors received an email saying that they would be open around 8.45 a.m. for vendors to start setting up. My husband and I got there before then, like around 8 20 ish am from what i know there's usually not a problem with setting up before the time my setup now takes over an hour and a half to set up so we had just enough time to set up if we did not get there when we did and started when we did it would have been past the time that opened at 10 30. at 10 30 we were still doing finishing touches and i was still trying to get the goodies from the other artists to put in the goodie bags for our sticker rally. So yeah, I was like rushing and freaking out and getting stressed. But if you have seen me do setup, how my face looks like. I look like I'm mad all the time and my husband is well aware of this. So if I look mad during setup, it's just, it's normal. It's normal for me. I'm just trying to make sure everything's the way I want it. <laughs> this was a one day convention and it lasted from 10.30 till 6.30 p.m. Last year it lasted till 7 p.m. but they cut it down 30 minutes this year. So let's talk about numbers. In total it had 26 transactions. The majority of these transactions were cash transactions. Out of all my transactions I only had 8 card transactions. I was in a really rough spot later on in the convention because all I had was $20 bills. I didn't have anything smaller than that. I was starting to freak out. <laughs> Thankfully though, I did go to ask Carrie Clay, amazing artist, person, follow them. I asked them if they had change for 20 and they were willing to give me change for it and they saved me with that. So thank you so much Carrie. I really really appreciate it. The cost of the table this year was $65. We have to drive two hours there and back. In total, the gas is $40. Food was $34 because I always buy us dinner after the event. And then the amount for bows in total was $60. Like materials and everything to make the bows was $60. Now my husband told me I shouldn't put the whole amount of the cost of the bows into this because the bows aren't solely for this event. But if I go ahead and put the total cost of the bows in this, I don't have to worry about it later, right? <laughs> so in total, I had $199 in fees. I made $354 in total. So in total, my profit was $155. Compared to what I made last year, that's not a lot more. Last year I made $309 at this event. However, the minimal goal that I wanted to hit was $300. And my husband and I had a discussion. We agreed that if I didn't make at least $300 in sales, 
that we were not gonna come back next year because it was just not gonna be worth it to me. When I was able to make those last two sales to make over $300, I was very, very happy about it. <laughs> So yeah, next year I will be applying again. However, I also know that I've been slacking off with manufacturing products and making new products at a slower pace this year compared to last year. So that's another reason why I'm like, yeah, that's the reason why I'm not making more profit compared to last year. But yeah, overall, I'm still very happy with how much I made. Hopefully I can push out new things next year so that my profits be much, much better. <laughs> Hairballs are new things that I'm making and they are my highest cost items. However, I'm very happy that at this event they weren't the main thing that was selling. Like I said, the stationery was doing very, very well and the buttons usually do very well. In total, at this event, I sold five balls, which I'm really happy about. When WeCon started, I was doing really, really well. I was getting sales at a much better rate compared to literally every single other place I have gone to to then. So I was super, super excited. I was like, wow, I'm going to be doing very very well here it slowed down around 1 p.m which makes sense that's around lunch time so for about an hour around that time it was pretty quiet for me and then around four it was like completely dead in the artist alley which also makes sense because from four to six they had their idol show which idol shows are usually a huge event but then right after their idol show ended there was the masquerade so at six when the idol show ended they had the masquerade to pass the time of the artist alley and that was one of my two suggestions that i have made to the organizers that maybe not to put two huge events right next to each other especially at the end because it was really quiet in the artist alley usually when it dies down is when i take updates for my booth but it was so quiet in there that i almost didn't want to do that because I didn't want everyone else to hear me talk about my booth. Usually at other events when I do film my booth, like there's still people talking, still some noise around, so it's not like only me talking, but I was a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> so eventually I just like whatever, I need to do it and I did it anyway, but yeah, it was that quiet. I was really starting to lose hope because I was about to not meet my goal. I was like only $20 from my minimum goal. Like I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I'm not gonna make these $20. Then after the item show, I got a pretty decent sell and then I got another sell from another vendor and that put me over my minimum amount that I wanted to make. And I'm really, really happy about that. So thank you guys so much for that. The other suggestion I made was to not put artists who sell the same things right next to each other and this is specifically the artists who do specialized things for example those who do army garimi or crocheting like when it comes to the majority of us who does sell prints keychains and so on it's harder to spread us out because there's literally so many of us doing it and there's also a lot of people who do fan art and then also those who are doing original art so it's fine if we're next to each other so in this case it would be harder to spread us apart but i think if it's specialized things like what i just mentioned i think those people should be spread apart because i feel like that will give these people an equal chance to how their things appreciated and there's more than enough space to make sure that these vendors were not next to each other but just something that i have come to notice and realize as i have become a part of the artist alley community but yeah overall the recon stop is doing an amazing job they had wi-fi that we could automatically connect to because last year they had to come around and give us the password but we didn't have to do that this year also again the table space amazing they also came around and asked us how we were doing throughout the event they gave us candy which i really appreciated and they were just super super helpful the week on teams our staff amazing job keep it up i'm excited and hopefully i can get into next year's edition but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and that will be all for this vlog next time we will be going back to all studio vlogs small business stuff 
So if you're interested in that stuff, subscribe and stick around. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!